We are ready for farewell ceremony and closing the hashes. Yes, go ahead, we can see you very well. And now Shkaplerov uh, saying goodbye to his uh, Russian uh, colleagues, uh, Padalka and Kornienko and Scott Kelly, who will uh, remain on board the station as a three-man crew for the next several weeks. Removal. Two station commanders saying goodbye to one another, and now uh, Vert saying goodbye to Kornienko before he makes his way inside uh, the Soyuz spacecraft that will be his ride home along with Vert's, along with uh, Shkaplerov and Christopher Reddy a short time from now. Plug remind, okay? And you see that we have removed it. Yes, we can see that. Wishing, uh, wishing each other uh, good luck and soft landing before the hatches uh, will be closed. Bertz, Shkaplerov, and Christopher Reddy now inside uh, the Soyuz TMA 15M with landing scheduled uh, just about uh, six hours and 40 minutes from now. Okay, thank you, Mikhail. Uh, we will wipe the seal now. Yes. Kaplarov and Padalka wiping down uh, the perimeter of the uh, hatchway uh, at the uh, interface uh, between uh, the Soyuz and Rosviet, ensuring that there's no uh, foreign object debris of any sort that would uh, impinge on a good leak check at the uh, time uh, that the uh, vestibule or passageway is depressurized. Uh, the leak checks uh, are to ensure that a good vacuum uh, and a good seal uh, is ensured uh, between uh, the departing Soyuz and the International Space Station. And the hatch uh, to the uh, Soyuz closed at 2.04 a.m. Central Time, 3.04 a.m. Eastern Time. Padalka will now work uh, to close the hatch on his side of the docking interface. Again, hatch closure uh, at 2.04 a.m. Central Time. And the hatch uh, on the Rosviet side, or the station side of the docking interface, uh, closed uh, at 2.05. The Soyuz hatch closure at 2.04 a.m. Central Time. So Vertz, Shkaplerov, and Christopher Reddy are now uh, inside their Soyuz TMA-15M spacecraft. They will begin uh, additional systems checks and the uh, work uh, to depressurize uh, the small passageway between Rosviet and the Soyuz itself. 
They uh, will begin to don their Sokol launch and entry suits and conduct other systems checks and communications checks with the Russian flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov outside of Moscow. This view of the uh, Soyuz just moments away from its departure from the Rosviet module. The uh, descent module in which the crew is strapped into their seats is on the left side of your screen. The bulbous portion uh, that is docked uh, is the orbital module, the uppermost or forward section of the Soyuz spacecraft. Two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, you, you went fast. Here we go. Yes, you went fast. We told you. The mode is Undocking confirmed. So, Checking BVS ready in the mode is no longer getting is clear. Undocking confirmed at 5.20 a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station and the Soyuz TMA-15M passed over southern Mongolia. Checking uh, mechanism, no issues, no foreign objects. All nominal. Verts, Shkaplerov, and Christopher Reddy bidding goodbye to their home for the past 199 days. It has been one minute. Check. Key thrusters A1, D5, G7, A11, A13, all uh, eliminated the vases ready at page 97. Eight sec for eight seconds, the thrusters should be. Approaching uh, a point over northeastern China, a great view of the Soyuz TMA-15M having departed the International Space Station just two minutes ago. So, on 57 seconds, copy. And uh, the first separation burn is underway. Not eliminated. The burn is complete and good. We have a roll maneuver. A good view of the roll maneuver now underway that places uh, the Soyuz in the proper orientation for the second of the two separation burns that will be coming up just one minute from now. So we continue monitoring maneuver in Oska. Anton Shkaplerov at the controls of the Soyuz. These burns are automated, uh, built into the onboard computer system for the Soyuz vehicle. Yes, Shkaplerov in the center seat of the descent module, flanked on his left by board engineer number one, Samantha Christopheretti of the European Space Agency, and uh, NASA astronaut Terry Verts, the offgoing uh, Expedition 43 commander, seated to Shkaplerov's right. 30 seconds. Uh, With uh, Verts, Shkaplerov, and Christopher Eddy now on their way to their deorbit burn position well away from the International Space Station, they will be uh, reporting on uh, Soyuz systems. They'll have a bit of free time as they prepare for their descent back into the Earth's atmosphere. Ultimately uh, reporting uh, a little over an hour from now on their descent readiness to Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center. Before loading into the onboard computers all of the parameters for the deorbit burn itself. That deorbit burn, uh, four minutes and 40 seconds in duration, that will be uh, the Soyuz main engine firing in a braking maneuver uh, to slow the Soyuz down by 128 meters per second for its uh, entry back into the Earth's atmosphere. 